Welcome back to Titan Academy. In this video, we will cover element styling. We'll discuss what is the element style, the panel structure, and reusing styles with style classes. The element style is designed to set a specific style on selected element or elements. It will only affect those elements that are selected. So if, for example, you select a specific button and then open the element style panel with this icon. If we make a change, such as changing the fill, then only that button will change. All of the other existing buttons in the project or newly added buttons after that will not be affected by this style change. The element style is a panel that can be opened once a single or multiple elements are selected on the canvas. The quick toolbar will show and pressing on the style icon will open the elements style panel. The available style properties in this panel will change according to the element you choose. The panel usually displays the parts of the selected element on the left side and the styles for each part on the right. There are elements, of course, that are not divided into parts, like the button, for example. So their element panel will just display their style categories. As we explained earlier, the element style is used to create a specific style for a selected element. But what if you want to use this specific style later on in your project? Is this possible? The answer is, of course, yes. And you can do so using the element style classes. Each element that you drag onto the canvas has its own unique class name by default. If you open the drop down, situated in the panel's title bar, you will see a list of class names. These are system names generated automatically, a combination of the element type, the word styling, a letter, and a number. For example, text styling E71. The class that is marked with a check icon is the one currently attached to your selected element. All of the style configurations made for this element will be stored under this class name. So if you are planning on applying this specific style on other elements, you can simply save it and then go to those elements and replace their system style with the one you created. It's as simple as that. Let's give this a try. On this input field that I've just added, I will change the shrink label font. I'll make it bolder and I'll change the label font size. We can now save these changes as a class and apply that class to other elements. Please note that these classes will only apply to other elements of the same type, in this case, text fields. There are two ways to save a class. You can give it a name and press on Save. This will create a regular class that can be applied only to elements in the same page. That means that if I go to another page, I add a new input field, and I look at the classes that are available, the class that I just saved is not there because it's only available on this home page. Alternatively, you can save the style as a global class. I enter a new name. I'll click Save Global. Now, if I save my project and go to my other page, I open the element style properties of this text field. My global class is now available. Let's apply it. See how that works? As mentioned in other videos, there is another styling panel equally important called the Project Style Panel. The Project Style Panel and the Element Style Panel should be used together to set up the styles in your Titan project. So while the Project Style should be used as a base layer to create a unified look, the Element Style should be used to override these base styles and set a specific style on selected elements. And that's how it's done. 